This week's energy roots itself around Mount Sinai, which was the greatest revelation upon the smallest of mountains. Revelation means where is our revelation? Where is our capacity to express success in this world? Where is our greatness? Where is our entrepreneurship? Where is our creativity? Where is our success in the broadest of senses? Mount Sinai and the smallest of mountains means internally that it roots through humility. Where is our humility? What is humility? How do I find and express in my workplace this week humility to bring about that greatness? What is not humility? Humility is not passive. Humility is not doormatting yourself for the betterment of others. Humility is not subjugating yourself into the reluctant service and loss of self-esteem. Humility is strength. Humility is power. Humility is the upper knowledge that the lights and universe's view of your success is greater than your brains. So how do we practice this week humility in three steps to help us at work? First of all, number one, personal humility. Personal humility means how do we self-appraise? How do I find all those inner traits and characteristics, strengths, values, where in that inner level, I feel strong enough, honest enough to embrace change, adapt and grow as necessary. Secondly, practical humility. How do I recognize mistakes? How do I embrace, own and resolve personal mistakes, failures? Third of all is communal humility. Am I truly open to others? Am I open to others' opinions? Am I open to others' opinions when they certainly contradict mine? which is the ultimate stress test of humility. This week, with the power of humility as a success muscle, exercise it personally, practically, and communally.